In 2014, Chisa 3 researchers from the University of California, San Diego set out for Florence, Italy. They were there to diagnose a patient with no prior medical record who couldn't be poked or prodded in any way and hadn't been in prime condition for more than 800 years. This patient is the Baptistry of San Giovanni, a basilica that sits adjacent to the famous Florence Cathedral known colloquially as the Duomo. The baptistry was the site where the Italian poet Dante and many other notable Renaissance figures were baptized. The researchers had been invited at the request of the Opera del Duomo di Firenze president, Franco Lucchesi. Working in partnership with Italian collaborators, structural engineering PhD students Mike Hess and Mike Yeager conducted a structural health assessment of the building for the UC San Diego Center of Interdisciplinary Science for Art, Architecture, and Archaeology, also known as Chisa 3. Their partners included cultural heritage engineer Maurizio Saracini and imaging experts Gianfranco Morelli and Gianluca Catanzariti. Using LiDAR laser scanning, ultra-high-resolution photography, and thermal imaging techniques, Hess and Jaeger constructed a comprehensive 3D model of the interior, exterior, and facade of the 5,500-square-foot baptistry. The result includes stunningly realistic 3D models of the baptistry, its marble sarcophagi and baptismal font, computed from thousands of photos using photogrammetry techniques. The team's technique for high-resolution thermal imaging stitches together many images at the level of detail needed to inspect the structure for flaws, see where areas have been restored, or map areas of moisture and cracks. A darker shade of marble might indicate that a slab has been replaced, for example. Although this is not a structural application, it reveals important information about the history of the structure. It's a way of seeing underneath the surface to understand the true state of conservation of the basilica. The resulting 3D digital model depicts a building that has aged gracefully, yet warrants careful and continued evaluation. This is perhaps not surprising. The baptistry has experienced more than 800 years of settling since its construction in 1128, and it is situated in a seismically active zone. But the team did indeed uncover big surprises, surprises that might have gone unnoticed were it not for the high-tech gaze of the advanced, multispectral, high-resolution tools they used to see behind walls, underground, and directly into the past. The team's ultimate goal is to build a numerical model of both the baptistry and the Duomo nearby. Using modeling techniques to determine real forces and stresses that would be absorbed by the structures, scientists will eventually be able to see how the buildings would respond to a theoretical seismic event, the first step in creating a potential retrofit for the buildings. One of the team's objectives was to take a more literal look underneath the surface of the building, right down into the dirt. Beneath the tiled floors of the baptistry lie the ruins of a Roman temple built in the 4th or 5th century AD, part of an ongoing excavation that began in the 1970s. With the help of their Italian counterparts and Chisa 3 visualization expert Vid Petrovich, Hess and Jaeger used ground-penetrating radar to visualize, for the first time, an unexcavated portion of the ruins. Their data reveal what is hypothesized to be a staircase, two vaulted rooms, and a series of walls and hallways. In addition to the remarkable discovery of the Roman rooms, Hess and Jaeger also determined from their scans that the floor above the excavation site differs dramatically from that above the unexcavated ruins but not in the way one might expect. There is indeed a dramatic drop in the vertical elevation of the floor, but the drop is over the unexcavated part of the ruins. The team postulates that when the floor of the baptistry over the excavated area was converted to a reinforced concrete slab, it overstiffened that part of the structure, causing it to settle more slowly. This counterintuitive fact is one example of the true power of the diagnostic imaging techniques that the Chisa 3 team is developing for these and other timeless jewels of human craftsmanship.